First thing you see is a sign for the museum, which is our second movie in a row now that was uh, filmed at a museum. Museums. I mean, I guess, I guess, um, an escape plan. It's not in the logic of the in the world of the movie. It isn't a museum, but yeah. that was something we learned after the fact. Yeah, they used it as uh, a location and didn't just. They weren't just like we're at a museum. Yeah, but uh, for low budget filmmaking, you can't go wrong with a museum. It's super cheap. They don't operate every day of the week and they don't make any money. So when they're not operating, they'll probably just let you film for free. And yeah, especially if it's in a small town, if anything, I'm sure they would just be kind of starstruck. Oh, they're filming a movie in our museum. Yeah. Especially if you have Sylvester Stallone, which uh, this film does not have, unfortunately, (laughs) or any recognizable names, Uh, any recognizable, anything and any point of production. Yeah, so this is a super low budget production, and by the end of it, we came out with an estimate, uh, estimated production budget of just under a million. That's really, like, probably like half a million. Yeah, somewhere in that range. Yeah, absolute uh, max is a million, but probably not that much. Not with that level of like production value. Like, I mean, they try their best with like the museum and stuff, but just there's no even vaguely name actors like even people who have appeared on like television in any significant way so it's just it's just a very thin cast in terms of fame the crew seems to be staffed entirely by the director's relatives yeah which is a very small production and it it seems like they poured a lot of the budget into the practical effects for the the clown which are pretty good into the titular jack yes oh yeah He's pretty fun. Yeah, I like his design quite a bit, actually. The box itself isn't the best, but the clown is pretty cool. There's a few different gags that comprise Jack. He pulls up a tarp to find a giant fucking box that somehow no one noticed. If you were paying attention in the first scene, you'll realize it's the same box. Oh my god. Oh no. Um, he, he taps it. And a CG handle comes out of the side, which is odd, really strange to have that effect in the middle of something that's primarily practical. Yeah, I guess. I uh, Yeah, it seems to me that they just couldn't figure out a way for the... Because they had a real handle once he starts turning it. Um, uh-huh. But I guess they just couldn't figure out a mechanism to have it pop out of the side. So they were like, all right, let's just yeah. CG this. And I get that, but then there's also parts where it's CG when it's just turning by itself, you know, being because it's a creepy clown. But I feel like right. it'd be pretty easy to probably figure out how to, you know, turn it from the inside. Probably, I don't know. considering they already have the physical, real handle. <laughs> I mean, that being said, it doesn't look that like bad or anything. I was just going to say it didn't stand out as being horrible. It's just, you know... We caught it. Because oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it just feels, like, unnatural because everything else is so, like, simple and just like, oh, yeah, we 3D printed a mannequin or whatever. And, well, this is just, like, the couple parts of CG just kind of feel a little weird, even though it's not, like, that bad, especially considering the budgetary restrictions. Yeah, so we give big props to this film for being, like, probably, like, 90% practical effects. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty much yeah. just that and the blood spurts, which you couldn't really do in a museum. Uh, I mean, the only thing I might notice the blood spurts was at the very end. But other than that, if, you know, there was CG, it was not very noticeable. So very commendable effects. Here we get to see nice and close up the uh, actual prop for the uh, Jack in the box. Not the demon that comes out of it, but the actual toy. Right. It looks pretty, pretty all right. Yeah, it's well designed. It just doesn't quite look like a old Jack in the Box. Uh, yeah, because uh, even when I watched it like the first time, like the first thing I noticed is it's covered in like lines that show you that that's where the three D printer ran along and left the the plastic trail. If you know how a three D printer works, and that's that would be fine, but. Um, the thing about that is you can also go back and sand it or just finish it in any way. So, I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, the actual, like, on-paper design elements of it 
are pretty neat. It's got a big nose and a scary smile. Yeah, a weird bald head. An extremely wide nose. It's kind of cute. Yeah, it's uh it's it strikes a level of being like something that you could think a kid might have played with at some point in time and it isn't just like completely scary like the Annabelle doll. Right. Oh yeah, no, it it doesn't go over the top with like looking scary to a degree that's like no one would ever own this. Though a character does look <laughs> at it and say why would anyone ever own this? Yeah, I was about to bring that up. One of the I guess uh, museum workers is like. Oh, it's creepy. Oh, no, it's not. <sighs> this is supposed to be a toy. Would you let your kids play with it? Yeah, and like, yeah, it's funny because it feels like lampshading, but it's like I never really thought that about it. No, while a little creepy, it's perfectly acceptable to picture that a, ki- a child playing with that at a different time. Well, what she was reacting to is that it's French, and I would not let my child near a Frenchman. <laughs> oh, no. No, that's a great point. Yeah, so, with their baguettes and frogs. Mimes. And, uh, and horrible, gross accents. Yep. <laughs> Disgusting. There go, there go all of our French listeners. And I don't get their movies. Come on. What's happening here? Yeah. What's with all this jump cutting, guys? This movie would be a lot better if the focus was put onto different things, I guess. Yeah. It's so close to being just like... I mean, it is like base level competent, but it could have been like kind of good, honestly, if it just... Yeah, I agree. You know, honed in. Yeah, it had the base elements to be like a thing I'd recommend to people yeah, like regularly. The, the Jack in the Box Spoilers. itself <laughs> is a decent, you know... A decent villain and they did a good job with the design so like you know that's a that's a very good foundation they just got a little too little too much padding in the script so meanwhile all this is happening the manager lady uh gets killed by the -the jack-in-the-box in a new kill which was actually pretty pretty fun of a concept but um the 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 front panel of the box uh turns into like a garbage disposal yeah with a giant kind of saw thing. and then it sucks her in i guess and just shreds her to pieces uh like you said it's a good concept but i would have loved to actually because it just it just straight cuts away from it you don't see any of it like there's no blood or, or anything i would have liked to see a little bit more yeah i do like how much that feels like a pennywise gag like he'd lay that little machine down and then it would grow and then it would start spinning it's, yeah it's pretty fun it's yeah that scene's fun it's just the budget limits it you don't get to see any sort of blood there could have been something but uh um, overall not bad yeah i guess uh we haven't talked about the uh the demon costume but we can underline that uh, it's pretty good yeah. yeah it looks good it's spooky it's uh it, it uh, realistic <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 it's very, like, you know, it's clearly trying to be scary, but it isn't overdoing it to, like, a weird degree. It looks about right. No, it's not, like, edgy. It's not super edgy. It has a good presence and a nice silhouette, mm. which yeah. is the, which are, the, like, the two important things when you're going for a creature design. And the mask is pretty uh, cleverly put together. It hinges as, like, a Chelsea grin, kind of, like, you know, Joker smile thing going on. And that's where it hinges for flexibility. So the mouth can move and you can show his weird teeth and his tongue. Yeah. Does a pretty good job with physicality. Most of the time it's, it's pretty well put together like monster for a movie. Yeah. It's always bad when, uh, like the creature design is like really good. And then the, um, the actor is really bad at physicality, but he absolutely nails it. He's not like... Yeah, they got both. He's not like the first five Jasons or whatever. Oh, yeah, where they have super comedic physicality. Oh, part three. Oh, oh yeah. When, he, when he's just falling over like a three, like fucking slapstick Three Stooges bits. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, no, that one he just comes... Jason comes off like such a non-threat sometimes in those, just because every time he gets hit, he like flops. He yeah, sells it yeah, like way too hard. Purely because of what the actor's doing, and that's I feel like that's something that uh, gets glossed over sometimes when you're talking about this type of thing. But it's important to have good physicality if you're playing a character like that. 
which this guy does. He's very loose and kind of... I don't even know how to describe it. He's just kind of, like, it's, like, it's flopping around. I, the, the way I think of it is, it's like, you know, like, music video-y, like, Marilyn Manson, just kind of, like, wiggly. Kinda. Yeah, wiggly, or, like, yeah, like, super just loose and, like, a, like a, a noodle. <laughs> like, his bones are in the wrong place. So, I mean, for a movie called The Jack in the Box, it, it delivers on that element yeah yeah which i commend titular character is pretty good yeah i like that he's not just an overly stiff big guy he's got like some stuff going on uh all of the characterization stuff is pretty cut and dry and just generic um but it's elevated by the good creature design yeah good practical guys i always appreciate it especially with something uh, that looks like it cost so little. Yeah, but they've really came out here with that. 